We start off the Wyoming leg of the trip with Devil's Tower, which is over my shoulder, 867 feet high. Uh, it was free to get in with the National Park Pass. It's really, really cool. This is one of the coolest things I've seen in a while. Uh, there's a ton of people here, but man, this thing is so cool. People are climbing up it. It looks like from a distance when you drive up, it doesn't look that big and then you get close and it's just boulder runoff and people climbing. <laughs> We just got into Yellowstone. I haven't even driven 15 minutes in and apparently there's a bear up here. So I, I gotta stop and see this. My life is complete. I have officially seen a bear in the wild. Mud volcanoes of Yellowstone right here. It smells kind of funky, but really cool looking. Let's go check out some more. I've been to Yellowstone 10 years ago, but I do not remember it being this beautiful or this interesting. Look at these pots and the, these cauldrons smoking. It's unbelievable. This is, this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. This is the famous Yellowstone waterfall, the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone Park. All right, this waterfall is incredible. This is unlike anything I've ever seen. Upper Falls, Yellowstone River with a little rainbow. Mammoth Hot Springs at Yellowstone. We got multi-colored rocks and ground water running down it. With all these colors and microorganisms, Mammoth Springs is a must see. The plan for the rest of the afternoon, Bunsen Peak, 2.1 miles up. It is that. Um, I don't have bear spray. It says that I should have bear spray. I don't have bear spray. I do have a knife. I don't think that's going to do much. And I can run fast, but probably not faster than a bear. So, screw it. Bunsen Peak is about 8,500 feet in the air. I probably started at like 6,500, 7,000, somewhere over there. Uh, so it's a good way up. But the l tallest peak in Yellowstone is 11,300. So this is not even close to the tallest mountain. I made it. The top of Bunsen Peak. Elevation 8,564 feet. This is looking northeast out to Montana, a little bit left of Wyoming. Unbelievable. From here, oh, you can see the Yellowstone River. You can see the Grand Tetons all the way back there. I can see at least three of them. It is time to go into the Gibbon River. I need to get cleaned off. I am disgusting right now. I even have the, uh, I even have the body wash on me. I honestly have no idea when the last time I showered was. Uh, so this is, this is necessary. I'm at the Artist Paint Pots, which is, I think a series of like bubbling gray water that comes out of the ground. Basically what I've done, when you enter the park, they give you a map. And on one side of the map is the map and the other side is an explanation of a lot of the things and photos. I've just been following all like the cool looking photos. And between today and tomorrow, I think I'll see everything, uh, or at least everything that I want to see. So that's the plan. Midway Geyser Basin first stop today. Midway Geyser Basin seems to be pretty unique. Got a deep blue pool over there, and then this is bubbling gray water clay. We're at Grand Prismatic Spring, one of the highlights of Yellowstone. 
and there's just hot water flowing into this river with smoke coming off of it. This is incredible. You can't even see the pools here. I'm just walking through smoke. My sunglasses are all fogged up. Holy crap, Excelsior Geyser Crater. If the smoke clears for a second, maybe we can see it. Good God, this is, this is incredible. According to the brochure, this is the deepest geyser in the world. I have no idea how deep it is, but it looks... So that thing, the Grand Prismatic Spring, is 200 feet across and 170 degrees Fahrenheit at all times. I just left Old Faithful. There were thousands of people around. After I got there, it took about 10, maybe 15 minutes tops in order to uh, erupt. It was cool, I don't know, I, I thought it would be a little better. I remembered it being much better 10 years ago. Um, a bit of a letdown.